Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over some special things, some One Piece Funko Pops, some interesting news that I've just learned about. So let's get rolling with that fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. So some late breaking things as I was going to start filming this 8 Minutes with Aaron, it seems Funko decided to throw hoop de doop de and put out a six pack soda can of Peter Pan. That's right, Peter Pan, you know those people who were lost in Neverland with Captain Hook, which I once briefly described how I really liked the looky looky, we, I got hooky and then the dude got stabbed, whatever his name was, Bartholomew or some shit like that. But that is crazy stuff. I once bought the uh, Scooby-Doo one. And I think I bought the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soda can thing. They're just sitting in here. So I decided, you know what? Let's just hold off and not go and buy this Peter Pan one. It's bad enough. I got to mail some stuff already back to Funko today. I got to send some cans back to Amazon. Funko just is not in a very good place right now with sales, with people being interested in it. And with things just falling in prices, it's just very scary as I look around my room and I have a thousands on pound thousands of Funko Pops that I need to probably get rid of eventually. But let's go back to the last episode when I found out that that shopper had that little stamp at the bottom that said Distributo. So I contacted First Form Collectibles and they replied back and told me yes. We do get our Funko Pops over from Mexico. I know this isn't a bash on Mexico or anything like that. Or the Funko Pops that come from Mexico. So let me just throw that out there. Not trying to be any kind of racist or prejudiced or anything like that. That's not how I'm trying to come off as. I'm just trying to say, as a collector, uh, you know, I I'm just was surprised. I didn't think I was going to get a the Funko Pop from Mexico. And they did say that the distributor is over there and that is why they have the stickers on the bottom that there's really nothing, you know, they can do about it. Uh, you know, I talked to someone in my Discord channel and they said that the person who owns the company did say that they were not going to get their products uh, from Mexico. So I kind of brought that up and he kind of like brushed me underneath the carpet and was like, you know, that, that's where we get them from. So it's either you take them or, or you don't want them, and you already purchased them, you already received them, so now you know for future reference. Oh, future reference? What, what does that mean? Future reference. All right, so um, we're going to pull out the last couple Funko Pops that we did get from First Form Collectibles, and the Funko Pop first that we are going to pull out of here, and yes, they did put it in a protector, and they put in a bubble wrap. It is, oh, let's not pull this one out first. Let's grab this one first. It is Luffy Trip. A anime exclusive Red Hawk Luffy. Now, of course, you're saying Red Hawk Luffy. Why are you talking about Red Hawk Luffy? We know who Mihawk is, that swordsman, and we know that red means the color red of Shanks' hair. Well, 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 folks, let me throw this out here a little bit for your knowledge. As you know, Luffy had a brother named Ace, and Ace was Fire Fist Ace. And Ace did die at Marine Ford, unfortunately, and it really did suck. But it kind of uh, skyrocketed Luffy into being more husky and wanting to protect his friends a lot more. So, yes, it was sad on one hand, but in the sense, it was a lot of growth for Luffy. Now, when they left for the three, I'm sorry, the two year training arc, Luffy came back and then they went on the ship. They went down to Fisherman Island. That's when he met the, the princess that I can't remember her name or pronounce it properly. And they fought their first big villain, Hordy Jones. That is right, he fought Hordy Jones. And when he fought Hordy Jones, he used a special technique to punch him for the first time. That piece of shit Hordy who wanted to destroy everybody on Fisherman Island. That punk ass bitch killed the princess. That's a long story. I don't want to get into it. But yes, he did use the Red Hawk uh, punch. Basically, you know, he put some arm and hockey on his hand. It turns fire and he punches the shit out of you and you go flying. Now, the first time he did use it on Hordy Jones, Hordy was fucking knocked out. He got bashed up against the thing and everyone was like, oh shit, like Hordy's dead. 
And then all of a sudden, Horty came back at a bunch of more pills and fought Luffy again. The second time we saw Luffy use the, what is it again? All right, the Red Hawk fist or punch, and it wasn't as effective. It wasn't as effective, one, because he was in water, and two, because Horty Jones was eating the shit out of those freaking pills. Dude, he was a pilling out, man. He was like a, a pill head, a pop head. I don't know what you want to call it. And the uh, second Funko Pop, of course, did, did come with the Chase version, and I'm very excited. But then again, I'm, I don't know. Well, you know what? These aren't just tribute to. Uh, he did tell me that any of the other ones, like the AAA Anime Exclusive or the Entertainment Earth Exclusive, they do not come over from Mexico. It's just basically the Funko Shop sticker ones. I know I just backtracked and... You guys are like, what the hell is going on with this kid? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really too sure 100% what the difference is between these two Funko Pops, between the Chase version and the Common version. Um, I'm going to try to take them out and look at the Chase version. And not the Common version, because I guess we can kind of determine whether or not... Oh, wait a second. I'm a noob. Yeah, I'm a noob. Sorry, guys. The only difference between the Common and the Chase version is that it is glow-in-the-dark. I really don't have to take it out. We aren't going to turn off the lights. We're not going to get the light out and shine on these bad boys. I really don't have enough time, and I was not aware that it was glow-in-the-dark. Totally forgot about it 100%. But we will take out the common version. And yeah, as you see on the front of it, it does say glow-in-the-dark chase version. It does have the AAA anime exclusive drawn on it. And as to date, I am stocked up and primarily got all my One Piece Funko Pops. I do have the big ass order that I did get from Chalice Collectibles. We still haven't gone over that yet. Let's take out this Luffy before we run out of time. Uh, both boxes, by the way, are very in perfect condition. Uh, there's no damage to them. I'm not sure if this Luffy is going to be able to stand on his own since I do see a huge ass freaking stand on the bottom of him. Uh, but, oh, dude, he is looking sweet. Oh, shit, I'm glad I took him out. The stand did fall on the ground, so I hope that he does stand up. Look at this, dude. And look at the back of him. You see him, the power up. This is the redness going around the fist. He's getting ready to throw this bad boy out and smack Horty Jones. Horty, Horty, Horty Jones, you getting hit, baby. Uh, I don't know if Horty Jones is one of your favorite bad characters. Doc Flamingo is one of my top faves. Uh, Horty was I. He was just the first one on Fisherman Island. But yeah, this thing is pimp. And I wonder, you know, I'll show a picture, of course. Uh, the glow-in-the-dark version of Luffy doing this shit. And he's got the hockey around his arm right here. So I wasn't lying about the hockey. Mm-mm-mm. He thought I was lying. And here's the flame going around. Now, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, when he does do the attack, which I don't think he's going to stand on his own, folks. I think the bottom is too heavy for him to stand. And he's just going to roll over. Oh, Luffy, Luffy, Luffy. It's time for them ups and downs. It's time for them ups and downs. Uh, Luffy... You can't stand on 8 Minutes with Aaron, the common version. Oh, boy. But you know what? I love One Piece. I love you, Luffy. You are getting it. Oh, that's right. You are getting it up. And then we got the chase version that will definitely go in the dark. I'll definitely throw up a pick. You are getting it up. One Piece, you are slick. You are hot and banging. Uh, first from collectibles, overall, your completeness. I will give you an up. I didn't like your timetable, that's getting it down, but eventually I did get them, and they were in protectors and cases. My name is Aaron, thank you for joining with 8 Minutes Aaron. If you have any comments, make sure you leave them down below. I will see you in the next episode, and I will talk to you later.